Hey there YouTube, feeling especially cool today so I thought why not record some super cool world. Uh, we're going into world 3. Uh, it's definitely picking up in difficulty and there was some really fun stuff in world 2 so I'm pretty excited to, uh, to see where this keeps going. Uh, whoops, wrong way. <clears throat> Right, Ricochet Ridge. What do we have here? Tip, green coins indicate where to throw the shells from. All right. Oh, bigger jump. <clears throat> so is this a shell level? Kind of appears that way. Okay, I was supposed to catch that shell there. Alright. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't realize that was a double bounce shell. I was like, uh, I don't have anything to throw right now. What the heck? What do I do there? I think I did it wrong? Okay. Oh, well, that's the only other thing it could have been, so... Ah. Alright, this is kind of neat. <clears throat> I don't know how that worked. I keep throwing that too, uh, too early. Okay. I feel like this would be impossible without the indicators. Oh, that's... okay, those are the things that like catch the... okay. It's kind of like it gets caught in a spider web or something. Uh, I think I was supposed to hit that on-off switch. It's pretty low. Seems like it's gonna be tough to hit it. Uh, okay. Maybe that was- okay, I think the green ones are double bounce shells. Maybe every green one is. Whoa! Ah! Okay, that was really cool. Hey, this is more reminiscent of Furby's uh, Mario Maker stuff. Uh, and it translates well to Mario World. Like, this is fun, I think. <laughs> oh shoot, we're done. That was awesome. That level was awesome. Uh, it would be extremely hard without the coins helping, but um, with them, pretty simple. 
Oh wow, where are we going? That was a long way. Sunburnt Sands. Desert level? We'll be able to make this level in Mario Maker 2 soon. Uh, how do I? I thought it was motor skills, but I can't. Okay, you just go backwards, I guess? This level is a no-fly zone. Mario is a law-abiding citizen, but the local Koopa population tends to be rather delinquent. So I can't... So I can glide, I guess I can't... Uh... I just can't gain flight, maybe. <clears throat> okay. Not too often you play a uh, gliding cape level in, well, in Mario World. Oh my god, barely. I guess I did it right? I mean, I'm not dead. Hey, I did do it right. Nice. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> okay. Whoops. What does he want me to do here? How would I... Maybe you can duck? I don't know if you can duck and do one of those throw block, throw block grabs. You can. What? <laughs> what does that mean? What do I- what? <laughs> Down up? God. I don't know what to do there. Can I not just... Oh, that's... Uh, I think I get it. Okay. I think he wants me to cape spin the shell up there. I thought that was a wall, but it's a semi-solid. So cape spin the wall up the shell up, then use the other shell to shell jump, and that Koopa will kick the shell over. Yeah, something like that. Huh. Okay... We're done! Wow. That was a pretty simple level. I like that one. Uh, the cape shell drop spin thing. I don't even know. I don't know what you call it, but that was kind of neat. I don't think I've done that in Mario World. I've done it in Maker. Loco Bridge. We got some craziness going on here, I guess. White arrow, turn green arrow, speed up blue arrow, slow down red X, end. For some reason, some arrows will change direction after the snake passes them. I don't know how to fix it, so I guess just ignore them. Uh, okay. Okay, this is gonna be confusing. I have to learn all these markers, what they all mean. I get it. Whoa! Dude, that coop is glowing. Looks like he's radioactive. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I just missed the piranha, dude. Okay. 
Uh, okay, I see what's going on here. This is kind of neat. I feel like the markers aren't even necessary. I mean, I guess it helps with blind play, but once I've done- I'm not looking at them now. I'm just kind of, you know, I know what's going to happen. Oh, I just wall clipped. Hmm, that's a big jump. Wow. I keep almost dying there. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta jump a little earlier there, and then should be good. Yeah, okay, there's the checkpoint. Just need a little more air there. There we go. Nice. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna like swirl down there. Got it. I did not want to throw that. Okay, I see, so that's where I would shell jump. Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, what is this thing doing? No! I thought those were three separate snakes. I thought I, oh. I thought I had to jump and activate all of them. Okay, that part was really cool. Whew. Oh my god, that was scary. Okay, so it's three separate dudes. Uh... <laughs> what am I doing? How am I alive? Oh my god, how the heck did I just do that blind? <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, I don't really, I don't even know. I was trying to follow the coins, I guess, and it worked out. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. Sunken mine. All right. What's in the sunken mine? I guess this is a water level. This is the closest to a water level you'll get in this game. I don't like water levels very much. Hey, fair enough. They can be fun, but uh, it's hard to make a really fun one. Also, I don't know if anybody's ported it to SMW, but the uh, Aquatic Mine song from Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which is like the mine, underwater mine level in Sonic Adventure 2, a straight banger. People should be using that for well, all kinds of stuff, but water levels in this game. I've noticed, uh, I don't, I bet it doesn't happen on emulator, but there's a lot of, like, random bits of lag in this game, which I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's because of the aesthetics, but I, I don't know anything about building a hack, so I could be completely wrong.
Did I do this wrong? No. Okay. Ooh, don't. Oh my god, that. Oh, never mind. That's not as tight as it. <laughs> I thought I had to go under that dude. I was like, are you kidding me? So yeah, if you guys aren't aware in Mario World, if you look at the input display uh, while I'm swimming... Uh, oh god. Well, I have an item right now, so I can't... <laughs> what I was trying to say doesn't apply. Okay, yeah, so when you're swimming... Oh, you have to get the shell. Um, if you're holding up or down, that adjusts how much Mario moves vertically. So like, if I'm holding down... Pressing it, he goes up so slow, whereas if I hold up, he goes up really fast. Um, I really wish we had that in Maker, like, it would make water levels more interesting. But, oh well. Actually, Maker does have one unique thing to it from water levels, uh, and in SMBU water levels, if you hold the swim button, Mario, like, like kicks his feet. Um, which actually makes him... Uh, it makes him sink slower. Which you... I hardly ever see people utilizing that, but... It's definitely a thing, and it, it's very helpful, especially in, like, precision. Don't know what's down here, okay. Uh... Surely you don't want me to yump up there. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I don't even know if that would give me enough height. I guess that could be like a speed strat. Oh, why did I spin? Should've regular jumped. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Oh, dude. That was unfair. Alright, watch out for the hammer, bro. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> God dang it. <sighs> Should have died there. Get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> dude, that was so close. There we go. No! No! <laughs> it pushed me down, oh my god. Alright, Mr. Hammer Bro Dude. There we go. Okay, now what? Dude, I hate... I hate swimming with items in this game. It's so weird. God dang it. Oh, I could... I could just throw that and let it chase me down. That would work too. I don't understand jumping out of the water. He like gets caught sometimes. I didn't think about that in Mario Maker 2. I wonder what the physics are like when Mario jumps out of the partial water. Because we don't have... you can't do that in Mario Maker 1. That's going to be a brand new feature to the game. Yeah, like he got caught there, but the jump's low enough that I made it anyway. Okay. Ugh, that was scary. Yeah, like, it lagged pretty bad just now, like... Kind of frustrating. Yeah, so I guess that's cheese. Not really... not really sure. I think it is, though. Orb. Oh. 11.15, that one took a while. I kept dying, plus it's water, so it's like slow-paced.
All right, well, I guess now we are technically in world four. Uh, it looks like this is the last world and then there's a star world. Oh, shoot, the timer. <laughs> oh no, I messed it up. Uh, well, I can get it from the video. Anyway, uh, that world was awesome. The shell level was super fun. I like the snake level too. Um, I imagine star world's pretty tough. That's what I've heard. Uh, so I bet the difficulty jump's gonna be pretty crazy in Star World, but yeah. Um, thanks for, so much for watching, guys. Uh, I put one of these up every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so if you want to watch more, be on the lookout. But yeah, thanks so much, and see you next time.